This is the OG binder with all of my like old HTCG pack cards. I honestly thought that I just lost these forever until I found them in my storage room the other day. So this says Dane's baseball cards. That's my name. This is when I used to collect baseball cards, but then I turned this into my TCG collection. Okay, so the first card game we're showing is Fantasy Clash. This, this was created by the Funky Cat, and he's an awesome creator. I love his card game, although he did stop uploading, so that really sucked. But this is like such an awesome homemade trading card game because it really gives that homemade feel. I love the Mother of Darkness card. I think that looks awesome. And uh, lots of really fun archetypes to collect. I ended up pulling like an epic rare or something, legendary rare, fire dragon, which was awesome. So these are some pretty rare cards. I think I'm, me and Funky Cat are the only ones to have this game. Then I have my Mystic Island stuff. He's actually revamping like his game, which is crazy because I think this art is already really good. So the fact that he's getting even better at it is mind blowing to me, but I love this game. It's really fantasy themed and I'm really happy because I have this collab card, which I don't think many people have, or if they do, then let me know, but I'm so happy I have that. But yeah, I just like having rare cards, guys. But um, there's a lot of... Th these were the knight factions and the skeleton factions. There's even a neutral faction card I have there. There's pirates. Lots of different factions to collect. And I do have King Grundy, Dwarf Leader. So I do have a leader card, which is pretty cool. And now we have my Afro Chibi Champs collection, which is pretty small because I got a lot of action cards and I only really like collecting the character cards. We have like a Goku, <laughs> like a Michael Jackson. I personally like the uh, the uh, Skull Dude. Then we have my Little Dude's collection. This was Chaos Galaxy's like first attempt at just testing out the Game Crafter, and he wanted to remake his old card game, Little Dude's Legends. So I think I remember buying three packs of that. Sorry for the glare, but <laughs> this was like early Pelfam, <laughs> which is cool. And then this is the last 10 elementals. I have some new stuff of his, which I haven't put in the, put in this binder yet, because of course this is really old and I haven't updated in a while because it was lost, but now it's back. I love the old last 10 elemental stuff. I recently played this card game and it's actually pretty interesting. It's got a unique play style unlike any other card game I've played. I personally like the uh, token cards. I just think those are just fun to collect in any card game. And then Kingdoms TCG. Okay, these two cards are super rare. This is for his 100 subspecial and this is a fan-made card so these two are extremely rare i believe and so i think me and maybe one other person have these then we have some more kingdoms tcg cards i also have a deck of this the silvermore deck which i won which is awesome but i did end up opening a pack so now i have proof that i did open a kingdoms pack and then i have rune tcg i love this game i was wondering why my collection was so small the other day when i moved it to my thing it's because it, it was mostly in here I, I should really do a top 10 rune tcg characters video wow but yeah that's rune tcg <gasps> oh my goodness guys this is huge because i was actually missing um some cards in my wrath Course binder and now i know where they went well this is good to know i was missing this guy Territorial Wyvern, and then I think one other, which maybe not is not even in this binder, but I'm going to put these off to the side because I need those for later. But yeah, then we have some more TLT cards. This was the collab pack, which is awesome. So you have Chaos Galaxy's card from TLT. You have King Rainus, which, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I, because when I first opened this, I didn't really know much about Wrath of Cores. I wasn't really into it, but now I know that Wrath, that's the Wrath of Cores collab. I love that. And then, you, you know, you got a few other uh, cool collabs. This TCG, I don't remember what's called. Dyrus. Oh yeah, Dyrus. So this guy reached out to me. He's like, hey, can I send you a pack of your game of my game? And I was like, no, I'll just order a pack of your game and support you. So then I got it. And it actually really shocked me. Like this art style is very unique to a lot of other card games. And it's got that homemade digital feel, if you know what I'm talking about. Then we got some heroic stuff. This is also pretty rare. I shouldn't say rare. I think it's still on the Game Crafter. I have the starter decks on my TCG shelf, which I can possibly show you guys in a, maybe later. But I took out some of the cards of the starter deck, and I have some booster pack. Wait, hold up. I remember getting an alternate edition pack, but I guess that's not in here. Anyways, we got some Chaos Galaxy cards. This is the Gavora artwork of, of Polisium, which I absolutely love. Then we have the Boggy Booga transformation. I knew I was missing some Chaos Galaxy cards. Not, okay, that guy took me so many pats, packs to get. I don't even know why, but Quatriaga is the hardest card to pull in Chaos Galaxy, I swear. Um, here's some... Oh, Freeze Lawn is my favorite character in Chaos Galaxy, if you did not know. I absolutely love that card. We got some other rare 
Cast Galaxy cards. I don't think that's that rare. I think a bunch of people have that. Um, we got some new Set 5 stuff. I filmed a pack video for Set 5, but I never ended up uploading it. We got some Sketchbook Chronicle stuff. I have some other really rare Sketchbook Chronicle stuff. Like, I was his last order before he revamped his new game, and he sent me, like, a jumbo card with a note on it, which is awesome. But yeah, um, then you just got some basic stuff. So I still have a few more pages if I want to fill up, fill it up a little bit more, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. This was just a quick flip through. If you guys want me to go in depth in any of the card games I showed in this video, please let me know. And go check out all of the creators I showcased in this video. They all have awesome TCGs. And I love looking at this. Well, now I, I, I will now be able to look at this binder whenever I need inspiration. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.